Hi guys, Nerosol here, and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So this is the my first ever run through of this. I've never played this game before. I have watched a little bit about it, but without further ado, let's get right into it. So this right here is a toolbox. This is where you you gain experience in the top right here, and then you gain upgrade points, and then you can buy better things and get a better a uh, better garage so there's a couple of milestones here which you will notice so milestone number one is you expand your garage it adds a test path and a repair bench now we like repair benches because it has the hammer milestone number two uh, sorry milestone number one is at level four milestone number two is at level 12 and that expands your garage again it also has another car lift, a warehouse, and another parking spot to your garage, which is nice. We like parking spots. It means more customers can leave their car. Now, the third and final milestone is actually expanding the garage. It adds a paint shop, which I'm really looking forward to, and it gives us an yet another lift in our garage, so we can do now three cars at once. Uh, this is your wheel balancer, your tyre changer, a wheel rack and then there's nothing else we can really click along here until we get to the phone now the phone you'll see this one has a timer and this one doesn't now this is a story order so this will always be here where this one here is time so that means once it's gone you know it's gone and then we'll need to go and find another one from this list but for now i think we'll do the story order and see how we go on so we're going to take the car take the order the customer drops the car off here now this is really cool because you can pop the hood you know you can have a close-up of the engine um, you can open all the doors and the boot if you really wanted to if you're that way inclined you can also actually sit inside of it and check out the interior so it's like something i'll pimp my ride but we'll close these and then you can also go into overview mode now this shows where all the red parts are and what needs to be replaced so you'll see there and some tires and then the air fault are just in there as well now luckily because this was a a story mode it has actually told us that under the car stairs so what we're going to do is our first point of call is to move the car over to the car lifter. This beautiful piece of machinery here. We're going to start lifting the car. And then we're going to lift it again because we're too lazy to get on the floor and be up and down a bit. Then we're going to get our oil drain collector here. We're going to move that under the car. And then what we do is we just click this and use the equipment. Lovely. Now we can move that back out of our way. And what I'm going to do is quickly click these. And because I know that we need to take the tyres off, I'm going to do that now. There's one. It's nice and relaxing, this game I find, from what I've played of it, all of about two minutes. Um, let's open that. It does have some music, however I've had to turn that off because I'm not too sure if YouTube would allow it. It is quite um, drum and bassy. It's it's quite nice music. Okay, so that's all the tires taken off. Now, if we go to our inventory, we can see here that there's 16s, 205 over 55R. Now, if we also check the, we have to be looking at that, and they want standard tire B. So now we know that we need standard tyre B at 16, 205 over 55. So let's go to the computer. This is where we order things from. 
we go to the tire shop we get standard tire b we need four at size 16 so we need two or five and 55 that's a lot of cash okay but you may be thinking but an aerosol there they're still on the old tires how are we going to do anything about that and that's a good shout now that's what the tire changer is for we separate the parts and you get this really nice looking window and we can separate that oh yeah isn't that awesome we really really like that and we can take that and then we can separate them again yes such a, a nice fluent dimple motion and you can see some of these tires really are bad okay and then another one and the last tire we need to separate you see how this one's 14 percent and the rims are a little bit scuffed Right, lovely now now we can take that and what we need to do now is install the, the rims onto the tire so if you click the rim and now we know it needs to be these 100 percent ones so we'll go for this one and then we press enter and yes okay and what we're going to do in order to try and preserve some time take this and then we're going to set this up for the next one but then what we're going to do is use a wheel balancer in order to balance the wheel okay so we've been a little bit more efficient with our time oh don't separate them we just put them on so you see we go yes like so things you love to see efficiency oh yeah you see that okay now we can take that one and then we can install our last i really hope he takes better care of these tires balance that one too and what we're going to do is to keep our inventory nice and clean we're going to sell these tires so we we really didn't make all that much back. Um, going to take that as well. Okay. So we're going to take that and then we're going to balance. You see how they've got the little the little symbol there that it signifies oh I need balancing. So there we go. Now we're only 85% uh, once they've been joined together. I'm hoping that's not going to cause any issues because she did demand 100%. But I've put the tires as 100%. So it's just the rims that are dragging it down here at 85%. Now that's not our problem. The, uh, the owner needs to drive a little bit better. And uh, if they want to complain, I'm sure they can talk to my manager. Okay, so what we're going to do now is what we're going to do is assemble mode. That's this. So, we should be able to put examine part mounts. There we go. As I say, guys, we're still not quite used to this yet. There we go. So, we can mount that in there. Oh, the lovely. Oh, yeah, with the, the pneumatic drill, we just get that bad boy back on there. Isn't it lovely? 
no, don't move the car. So we need to click it, click into it. Hold and click. There we go. Oh yeah, isn't that lovely? Would you guys hire me as your mechanic? I'm curious. I definitely wouldn't. But... I kind of value my car. Alright, so that's the tyres done. Now I believe we're going to need to bring it down a notch in order to do the... What we'll do real quick. Because we did, we removed the oil and now we need to put the oil back in. So we'll just pour that nice... Oh yeah. Oh, oh. There's no measurements. Oh, okay, that signifies too much. And then, now we need to get our head in there. If we remove these clips, uh, like so, and then go around this side, and remove that clip, uh, oh, and that clip, then the cover of the wall, and the air door. We'll also remove that fuel door because it definitely seen better days. 5%? It really, really has seen better days. So now we go to the main shop and we buy a fuel filter. That's from earlier searching. And an air filter. And then what we do is we go back into here and then part mount. Very, very similar to earlier on. So yes, we use the cover one, we put the cover back on. See, now this is only 69%, but that does not matter. Because the parts we are replacing are the parts that need to be 100%, which is the same for the rims, that's why they're okay as well. And we can get away with the clips, because we're not buying new clips in order to, you know, she hasn't asked for new new clips. She said, please just replace the filter. So we'll do that. We'll also replace a fuel filter. And now, if we close the hood and bring it down, I believe, I believe that's everything. And you see, we get, we've spent $963. She's going to give us uh, I'm not too sure actually, but the task bonus is 917. So we were going to make a few hundred first, and now the total payout is $2,351. So we make $1,200 on this job alone, which is really, really nice. So what we'll do is finish the order, and that is our first ever order done. Alrighty, we'll do one more. We'll, uh, we'll see what, what the orders are. So, poor brake performance and poor brake performance. Now, which one would we prefer to work on? I feel like the Audi looking car is the nicer car, so we'll, we'll, we'll go for that one. Alright. Now, obviously, poor brake performance usually means they need new pads. So we'll go straight into overview mode and scan our way around. There was a little bit of red there. Not entirely sure what that is though. Alrighty. So I think if we move the car over to the car lifter. And then we lift. Now obviously we're going to need to take one of the tyres off in order to be able to check, I believe. So, if we... Take 
change that off and then we give it an overview mode. Oh dear. I took the wrong side off. Oh, you are joking me. Okay. Well, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And now you can see that the disc on this front passenger side, I believe, how rustic it is compared. I mean, this one's got a little bit, but I think we can get away with leaving that one for now. It, where this one is very, very short and we will need to be replaced. So, we'll take that out. Okay. Happy. And we'll also... Take that off and we'll take the pads off. And then lastly, we'll take the disc off. Now, if we give it a quick overview now we can see that the brake disc was a problem so we go into our inventory uh, we'll get rid, get rid of these real quick so the disc ventilated is what we need to replace now i believe there's two of them that we need brakes brake disc first so that's 200 dollars on brake discs typical audi so now what we'll do is mount the new shiny disc, yes. Put the ball back in. And then we can put the pads back on. Oh, you see now they're 7% as well. Do you, but I think we should probably replace the pads as well. That's, that's not good. Okay, brake pads. That's $40. Uh, Let's see if we've got a status. Brake pads. Okay, okay. We, we, we're on the right track. We're on the right track. Okay. Be, being a good guy does have its uh, bonuses sometimes. Put new pads on. A new caliper. Yes. These sounds are so... Just... Pleasing. And then we leave that alone. I don't believe there's anything else to go on there. And then we will heart mount. Put the rim back on. Yes. Okay. So, just double check the inventory to make sure we haven't left anything off. Um, kind of sad that's a possibility with me. Okay, so we just need to take this tire off. So we do a bit of this. Bit of that. Like so then we need to take the brake caliper off and just the brake pads this time. No, sorry. Brick pads, yeah, okay. So, if I do that, then part mount. Oh dear, I bought two discs and not two pads. I guess that's what I get for not checking. But it'll come in handy in future, I'm sure. But we've, we've got $100 from this order that we didn't need to spend. But that, that that's fine, honestly. Um, we're a good guy mechanic that has things in as and when people need them, I like to believe. Okay. Screw these back in and put the wheel back on. Awesome stuff. The things that you love to see. So let's bring this bad boy back down. Nope. status okay so you see everything's done here so we spent 180 dollars we get 90 dollars so we, 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 we let's say we break even on that we're down 10 dollars due to my own inability to read um so brake problems or brake system needs fixing Ooh. 
okay well we'll go with the, the brake problems because we're we're nice you know we, we like the oh this is a, a rather nice car looks like something out of tokyo drift no bodies in the back that's always a good sign um car status so a caliper a disc and a caliper so without further ado let's get the bad boy on there Get her loaded up. These rims. Oh no. If, you, if your rims look like, like this, just just stay away from the curbs. Okay, so we've got a, a pad this side. Um, right. So both, both of the back and front, front left. Okay. So let's see. Ah, you see, now that disc may have come in handy now, because we can be a nice guy and replace that brake disc, even though it may not have needed it, it was 56% I believe. Right, okay, so we're going to need to buy a brake caliper. 1%? I wouldn't have even drove it to the mechanic at that point, I'd have asked them to bring out a recovery truck. It's really not worth it. Okay, what else is it that we needed? Two calipers and a disc. Okay. Yeah, it's, um, yes. Yeah, it should be fine. Put that back. Yep. I feel like this guy's going to be back shortly because a lot of his stuff is just breaking. Alrighty, and I mean again we could probably replace a disc here. But do we want to charge excess? You know what, should we? I feel like we should. Just a, a regular... Reg uh, it's 59%, it's fine. It's fine. Don't don't worry about it. We'll put it back. It's just a bit a bit rusty. That's all. Um. Okay. It's just a caliper we needed. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that's right first. Yes. So it says we still haven't done the brake disc, so I'm going to take this one off and just make sure. Alright. Um. So that's 23%, so that may be the brake disc that we needed to do. So we give him a free front one, I presume he gets it for free. That's fine. You know, we, we, we like to keep our customers coming back. So the ventilated disc seem to be go for the front. And then the regular disc go on the back. The more you know. See now everything's finished, which is what we like. Just need to put this guy's tire back on. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, orders. No, 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 no. Car status. See, we spent two hundred and twenty dollars, and we got three hundred and fifty-five back. Um, all in all, that's not too bad. 
hopefully he'll be back for more in future and hopefully you guys watching will as well because that concludes the end of our very first episode i'm not 100 percent sure on the next video of this i believe this will go out on a sunday and then i may put one out on a wednesday as well just depends how busy the schedule is and how things turn out but if you would definitely like to see more please remember to drop a like and a comment on the video and then subscribe as well if you're new around here i have been there assault thank you very very much for watching and supporting it means so much to me and until next time guys take care and goodbye